Hey everyone, I'm Makeda Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist, and um, this video is going to be about self-care. If you don't know me, you're not familiar with my work, I am, am a trainer, strength and conditioning coach, uh, exercise and sports scientist, um, a sports nutritionist, a dancer, um, and a doula. And, um, so I've worked with people with their bodies and helping to improve bodies and I do research and I'm a practitioner. Um, so anyhow, self-care. So, so many of us healthcare workers um, really run ourselves into the ground trying to help other people and heal other people. And if we look around us and a lot of the nurses that I've known and maybe you two have known um, are really, you know, they're, they're taking care of others, but they themselves, their health is suffering. They're, they're neglecting their health needs and the food they need to eat and the rest they need. Um, same thing um, is true with massage therapists. I've had so many massage therapists take my classes or, or train with me who, it was like their life was being sucked out of them. Like they were so drained from picking up other people's energy and not, you know, replenishing. Like we have to not just have ways of cleansing and blocking, but we also have to have ways of replenishing our own life force, you know? Um, and a lot of us, even, you know, and as a trainer too, you know, like it's, uh, as somebody who teaches fitness classes and I train people and I teach people how to be healthier, it's like I myself have to do that as well. If I get asked to teach a class, I have to be strong enough to teach that class and not look like I'm struggling because nobody wants to see a fitness instructor struggle. So it's like, but at the same time, if you're teaching fitness classes and dance classes and you have a physical job, you're a performer, you're an athlete, it's a very fine line between doing too much. And that's the reason why you have so many athletes who take performance enhancing drugs and are all drugged up. And performers, um, you know, we just saw, you know, um, I mean, even in this situation with Prince where it's like he was dancing in heels and jumping around and the pain that comes after that. And then the, you know, you have to take painkillers or just different. There's a lot of stresses that we put on our bodies and especially people who need their bodies for a living like athletes and performers. Okay. And so as a fitness um, worker, somebody who works in the fitness industry, the same thing can happen. Like teaching pole classes. There's only so many pole classes you can teach a week or you will overdo it on your body. And then when you get injured, then you can't teach, you can't make money, you know? So self-care is very important. And when you're healing certain things holistically, like there are people who don't have any imbalances or any health problems that they know of, and that's great. So then they want to be just on the prevention end of things because, you know, prevention is where it's at. You want to prevent before you get a problem. And for any of us who are healing any imbalances in our bodies, um, whether it be metabolic or genetic or uh, chronic, you know, degenerative issues, whatever, autoimmune. Um, but any of us who are working holistically to heal, there's uh, usually a number of things that we have to implement and it requires time. It requires us to invest our time and attention. So whether it's preparing herbs, you know, for uh, teas or yoni steams or, you know, preparing herbal oils, you know, to use for healing purposes, or if you're oil pulling to keep your, you know, your gums clean. And um, if you are, you know, lathering your skin in shea butter and coconut oil every day to make sure that it's protected from the elements and that it's well nourished and that you're cooking your food, you know, um, that you're cooking more and you're cooking with good ingredients. And it may mean that you have to go to the farmer's market now when you have to do extra work to get your food. And, um, you know, all those things, it takes more time. You may be doing castor oil packs, you know, um, to, for certain uh, things going on with your body. So now that requires you to lay down and put it on and like actually be there and be present and do it. So when we're healing things holistically, it's like, it's not like a, you take a pill and it's over. It's working over time to correct the imbalance and you're usually implementing several things, whether you're making time to exercise, you know, it's, it's like, I mean, that's also very important. And, um, all exercise is not good exercise and you can check some of my videos my three fitness mistakes and also my um, aerobic and anaerobic video um, where I get more into that but doing the certain exercise that can deplete you and, and break you down and there's certain that can build you up and be helpful make you stronger and that's what we want right um, and so when people try to tell me that they don't have time to exercise 
you know, that's like a joke because I'm like, if Barack and Michelle have time to work out, then you have time to work out. The lives that they live, if they have time to, to get it in and stay in shape and play basketball and work out in the gym, then you can find that time too. It's all about um, your priorities. And, you know, to me, like, taking a walk is not something that counts. Like, being a New Yorker, we walk, like, miles every day and it's nothing, you know. That's just something that you should be doing. That, to me, does not go on the... Unless you're walking up super steep mountains, like the uh, super the steepest hills in San Francisco and Pittsburgh or something, then walking doesn't count. Um, but, but it's something that you should be doing, though, as much as possible, without complaining. Um... And so self-care, taking the time to replenish ourselves, it's like a, such a struggle for me because, you know, being a trainer and um, I work with a lot of people from a distance and there's a lot of answering emails and back and forth and then, you know, I sell Yoni eggs and so there's answering.